Someone told me if I ever watched the menu, I should sit down with a nice cheeseburger to enjoy the film. So, hey, you know what? I can't remember the last time I had a good burger. So I went out to find the best, most gourmet burger I could find. And then I went and I got the closest that I could find. So. Sometimes you watch a movie because you heard unbelievable things about it. Sometimes you watch a movie because it is a revered classic that somehow just slipped through your radar and you never saw. Sometimes you watch a movie because Anya Taylor-Joy is in it. So, welcome to Casual Nerd Reactions. My name is Chris, and there's a lot of reasons to watch this movie, I am sure. I don't know any of them. I just know Anya Taylor-Joy is in it, as well as... uh. I almost said Phineas and Ferb. Ah, Ralph Phineas, Nicholas Holt, Hung Chow. I'm excited. I love all of those performers. I think we're in for a good ride. I literally don't know anything else about this film, though. I don't know the story. I don't know the genre. I assume it's not a comedy based on the, 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 the little poster there that was on HBO Max. I'm just hoping it's a good film because Anya Taylor-Joy. And if it's not, that's okay because... I guess let's find out together and let's experience on your tail. So let's find out together and let's experience the menu for the very first time. Oh, we're invited to experience the menu. I like that. I feel included into the into the movie here. This is great. Please don't smoke. It'll kill your palate. And my palate will die happy. <laughs> your palate is more important than your health. 12 customers total. How do they turn a profit? 12.50 a head, that's how. Wow, that's quite a bit. Okay. Is this a murder mystery? What's she upset about? Lilia Bloom. Okay, well, it's official. Tonight will be madness. <laughs> Interesting perspective on fun. Different than me. <laughs> I saw all his movies when I was a kid. Hey, listen. Apparently he's a big foodie. I know, thinks he is. It's one of his classics. <laughs> Lemon pearls. You gotta take I a picture before you. you eat it. Laughably good. I've never had anything that was laughably good. I'm feeling jealous. I absolutely love the tone of this film so far. It does feel like something that has a jubilant, lighthearted feel, but it just feels like there's gonna be a turn at some point. I don't know if it's a murder mystery or or what's gonna happen. I never went to prom. None of the cool girls like you said yes. Mr. Ludford and Miss Westerville. Oh, oh no. Um, uh -oh. Sorry, yeah, no, that was... Uh, I'm Marco. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> She's making it so awkward. I'm sorry, that was not... No, no, fine. We age for an astonishing 152 days to relax the protein strands. Oof. What happens if you serve it on the 153rd day? Does all hell break loose? Or... Yes. Well, I suppose the bacteria would introduce itself to the consumer's bloodstream and shortly thereafter expire. So yes, all hell would break loose. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Disturbing answer. Live here, all of you? All of us. Except Chef. Is this a food cult? Can we see that? No. Even we are not allowed inside Chef's cottage, Mr. Ludford. We mustn't disturb the Lord High Emperor of Sustenance. <laughs> all right. Lord High Emperor of Sustenance. For now on, that is the only name I will respond to if I'm cooking. Thank you. Time to post. Well, I book the best With my name. Kind of feels like you can't ever leave again. Switch seats with me. Basically, he really doesn't want to look at Margot, which I can't quite understand why. Obviously, there's some kind of weird history there. Do not photograph our dishes. No photographing of the dishes. Do you make that with a Paco jet? Exactly right, sir. Yes. It's a food cult. He wants to join so bad. There he is. She doesn't even turn to look as her presumably newish boyfriend idolizes the chef there. Is he looking at me? Or maybe her. Because she wasn't on the list. She doesn't belong. She's changed the plan. Something's wrong. Maybe? I'm gonna get this soundtrack. Opportunity has been, uh... At least turn off the camera sound. That was for our benefit, I know. The work and money. Yeah, yeah, baby. We're pathetic, aren't we? Oh. Somebody shoot us. It's okay, but I'm not as into this as you are. Oh, no, no, it's good. I'm sitting with the coolest girl here. What's with his obsession with being with the cool girl? Beautiful <laughs> shots here with the meals being presented to us. Do not eat. Taste 
Okay, yeah. Accept all of it. And uh, forgive. It's a food cult. What are we forgiving? I need more specific information. Like, you take a bite. Oh, I forgive my mom. Like, what are you talking about? Our first course is called the island. Covered in barely frozen filtered seawater, which will flavor the dish as it melts. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside in nature. We are but a frightened nanosecond. What? Oh my gosh. I find it all very moving. It's all so beautiful. I just, it's almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> the nicest restaurant in my hometown. You don't think ours. Chef's mad at me, right? Oh my gosh. Listen to her. Tyler, you're the customer. You're paying him to serve you. Eat your rock. <laughs> We're eating the ocean. We're eating the ocean. This restaurant is the height of pretension. I mean, I've had shellfish just as good with my chef at home, Ricardo. You know, Ricardo, mm. he's amazing. Mm. Incredible. Uh, whatever, at least we can say we've been here, right? She is judging. I think she's taking mental notes. I don't think she's missing anything anyone is saying or doing. Second course. Yikes. <laughs> is he going to keep doing that? Yep. Just Bread expect it. Has existed in some form for over 12,000 years. Food of okay. the common man. But you are not the common man. You get no bread. Uh -huh. But I like bread. I want bread. I'd rather eat bread than your juicy mush. Sweet. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? I mean, he's, he's always been keenly aware of food as a history of class. I mean, as have I. Sure. Of course, as of I. I will say if he's aware of it, I'm aware of it, because I'm the queen of the England. Which I kind of feel bad saying. Rest in peace. Wait, you you like this? Uh -huh. <laughs> he's basically insulting you. Mm, no, no, no. You don't get it. I feel like there's one relatable person in this whole room. Miss Bloom, mm -hmm. here is another broken emotion, courtesy of Chef Slowick. Special treatment for the food critic. Broken emotion? Could we please get a little bread, you know, and some gluten free for my friend as well? No. <laughs> no. You paid for this experience. Just remember that. You know who we are, right? Yes. You know we work with Doug Barrick, right? You will eat less than you desire and more than you deserve. It's a pleasure to serve you. Dang, you'll eat less than you desire. More than you deserve. Yeah, Something. Yeah. No. No? Cool. <laughs> I don't think I it. Oh. Oh. No, I'm, I'm he so doesn't sorry. care about the glass. He cares about you're going to eat her food. You haven't touched your food. There is no food. <laughs> well, no, this is food. The menu only makes sense if you eat. But you told us not to eat. <laughs> that is not what I meant, madam. You know it. <laughs> I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. He's definitely going to be embarrassed to have brought her now. Probably should have brought the less cool girl. It's humiliating. Humiliating? Yeah. Tyler, the guy's a... I mean, yeah. Keep quiet. Is she okay? Faint sense of longing and regret. Which is what I'd be feeling if I went to this restaurant. Hmm. She's staring again. Does look like Claire. Why do you keep saying that? She doesn't. If you were leaving, right. would you not? Mm -hmm. Why? We, what would you be leaving for? Associate development co-exec. Just hypothetical. Anyway. Next course is called memory, and that is what it's meant to evoke. A memory. Oh, memory. I thought he said memory, and I'm like, ah, I don't want to eat that. This is my mother. Oh, okay. When I was seven years old, one Tuesday. Memory. My father came home quite drunk. He proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. Yikes. Oh. Should have stabbed him in the throat that evening. But we're not so smart when we're young. You like that? Yeah, it's a backstory to what makes him a, a chef artist. I, I, it's a story. A little creepy. Inappropriate for the setting. I hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. The pictures, they're, they're all of us. Tyler, is that you? Yeah, they're all me from tonight taking photos. <laughs> Amazing. Hates me. Um, guys, what the f Cayman Island accounts? Are these? Transactions? How did they get these? Fraud? 
evidence. <laughs> what are these? These are tortillas, <laughs> which contain Echo Bright's tax records I love her. <laughs> and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. Wow, this place close by the morning, do you understand? Nope. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. <laughs> that and won't this be necessary. Is you. Who is that woman? It's Margo. It's gonna be Margo. Stupid joke. Excuse me. Oh boy. Excuse hey, me, sir. Margo. Hi. Margo. Did you just snap at me? Do you know? I've been trying to get a reservation here. You Hair. do not send back to this kitchen, you child. You thank them for even letting you in the door. How dare you? How dare you? Cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying, so maybe shut up and eat. Wow, everyone here is clearly awful. This is incredible. You have to try this. Nope. No thanks. Yeah, she's lost her appetite. What's behind that silver door? Something very special. Something mythical, perhaps? Perhaps nothing. What the heck? Angelings? <gasps> you shouldn't be in here. I'd like to know. He locked the door. I take my work very seriously and you're not eating. And that wounds me. Like scissors to the throat wounding? I guess I'm just not very hungry. Who are you? I am Margo. Uh-oh. You shouldn't be here tonight. Who do you think she is or what do you know about her? Is he treating her this way because of what he knows about her or because of what he doesn't know about her? Oh yeah, this has got a very nice build up to whatever it's building up to. Jeremy created the next dish. It's called The Mess. He's good, but he's not great. He'll never be great. What? Is this how you talk to your employees? Correct, Jeremy. Yes, chef. And even when all goes right and the food is perfect, there is no way to avoid the mess. The mess you make of your life. Do you like this life? This life that you dreamed about? No, chef. Mm -hmm. And do you Clearly. want my life? No, chef. So what do you want? Sous chef Jeremy's The Mess. <gasps> oh! I didn't see that coming. What the I didn't see that coming? That's what that dude said? I don't want to eat the next course. I'm not eating that dude's mess. This is, this oh, is just mom. theater. It's stagecraft. It's this really? is what, yeah, this is Demented. what he does. It's part of the menu. Pressure cooked vegetables, roast filet. Okay, bone marrow. Rest in peace, Jeremy Loudon. Eat. Absolutely not. I'm not eating another thing on this God's forsaken menu. Biodynamic Cabernet Franc from our friend. Tyler's a freak. I think Tyler knew exactly what he was getting into when he came here. I wonder what happened to the girl he didn't bring and how Margot got invited. We're leaving. Good for you. There is no boat to leave on. Then I'll call a helicopter. That would be very difficult without phone service. Do what they say. No, I, take... I can, I'll, I'll handle this. With which hand will you handle this, left or right? Oh, no. Shall we choose? Choose what? No, no, no. They're going to cut off very a hand. Well. Left hand. You are going to be missing a hand in like 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to watch this horrible, horrible movie. How is he just eating? What a psycho! It's all part of the menu. It's really not. I wonder if Your they cut that off ring, madam. because he betrayed his vows. I honestly think that this whole thing is just for our benefit. The acting is astonishing. Self-involved egomaniacs. Jeff Slowick would like to see you in the kitchen. While you're in the kitchen, if you see a pair of scissors and you want to go for his throat, I recommend it. I've served many Margos. You're not a Margo. What? No, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned. And you are not a part of that plan. Yes, she's the problem. But I have to know where to seat you. With us or with them. It's like judgment on them, maybe? We're all going to die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, sir! The question is, do you want to die with those who give or with those who take? Oh. It's our side or theirs. Oh, man. In the meantime, please return to your seat. Did you offer you a kitchen course? Right, what was it? Protein or veg? What are our options? The door is guarded, but it can be a play. Every part of this music evokes the tension of like, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Dynamic. 
can't be cowards. Ah! Nope. Denied. Any questions? Is this bergamot I'm getting, Chef? Yes, it is. <laughs> he does not like that guy. None of this should be a surprise to most of you. Miss Bloom, cherished early advocate, knows the damage she has done to so many livelihoods. More broken emulsion, madam. My loyal regulars. Eleven times you take the boat out here. Oh, you didn't appreciate it. Twelve hundred dollars a plate. You spent like eleven times. It's like twenty-six grand. I've been fooled in trying to satisfy people who can never be satisfied. You say it's your restaurant. It's not. Doug Verrick is my angel investor. He owns this island and this restaurant. And so how come they're there and Verrick's not? Oh, he is there. How do we stop this man? No. Okay. Ah, uh, you can't stop a train of this magnitude. He would even request substitutions, despite the fact that there are no substitutions. Oh. Call an angel, please. Uh, rest in peace, Doug. Do you hear that silence? Listen, can you hear it? Tyler. That silence means I'm free. Means you're a murderer. I guess I'm gonna have to make your decision for you. You thought I couldn't tell? Oh, I know a fellow service industry worker when I see one. Mr. Liebrand. How do you know him? Oh, well, I think you know. No, I don't. You don't rattle easily, so how did he rattle you? He told me to agree with everything he said and continue eye contact while he... He told me to tell him that he was a good man and that I was his daughter and that he loved me and I loved him. And so and... he's a romantic. Strange. I haven't desired to cook for someone in ages. And one does miss that feeling. Certainly understand why he didn't want to look at her direction now. And if she does resemble Claire, uh, who I assume is their daughter, it all kind of makes sense in a very weird sort of way. Three years ago, Julian Slowick tried to f*** me. A week later, he tried again. I refused. But he didn't fire me. He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye. Our next course is called Man's Folly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I mean, Chef really committed to the evening, didn't he? I'm sorry. To our male diners, we now offer you the chance to escape. You'll be given a 45 second head start. Members of my staff will try and catch you. If they do catch you, <laughs> okay. That guy knows what's up. I would have let him maybe finish instructions. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that guy's not gonna escape. <laughs> and of course, Tyler's like, I'll just stand here. I'm loving this evening. It's perfect. It's magical. You too. Yeah, the ladies get to enjoy this. It's delicious. There was a time that would have meant a lot to me, Miss Bloom. <laughs> but then you joined a food cult. You know my husband. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, are we all really dying tonight? It doesn't work if you live. Dying was my pitch, actually. Anybody want any wine? Yes. <laughs> yep, let's all get drunk. I mean, you're still gonna get caught, but... A special bite for the last guest to be caught. Oh, a little play nice. on the passard egg with creme fraiche and maple. My name is not Margo. It's Aaron. How'd you do out there? I did great. I'm the only one who got away. <laughs> I've been stealing money from you. I know. Oh. I know you know. Oh. I wrote a negative recommendation to Sony. I kind of love them now. <laughs> Tell me why you're here. I wanted to experience your food, chef. And what were you told? That everyone would die. Everyone would die. So he knew that? You had a date. She broke up with me, chef. So you hired her knowing she'd die. Awful. Yeah. Good job, Aaron. You're a cook. <laughs> Cooks belong in the kitchen. I'm gonna personalize the jacket. Now, cook. I don't... Cook. He's not giving you oh, an option, yeah. bro. Everyone gather around. You must learn from Tyler. Oh, yeah, I think it's done, Chef. You think it's done? You sure? Mm -hmm. you wanna, maybe you want to jam it into the Paco chip. Mmm. <laughs> Bad. Shock. By the Dark Lord himself. <laughs> Dark Lord, High Emperor of Sustenance, that is. 
you are why the mystery has been drained from our art. Is he going to kill himself because of his failure and because Chef told him to? You're free to. Yeah, that tear was forming in her eye for a long time. Very amazing acting. Incredible performance. Dessert requires a large barrel that is supposed to be there in the corner. Elsa forgot to assign someone to bring it. Margo, you will fetch the barrel. Go. And he's hanging. Yeah. Man, his girlfriend really lucked out by breaking up with him. Oof. Would you want to know why you're being punished? Sure. I saw the film Calling Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> Is that it? My one day off in months. So, you have to die. And what about her? What school did you go to? Brown. Student loans? No. I'm sorry, you're dying. Wait, did she... She entered the house. Interesting. Correlation to the other door. No one is allowed inside Chef's house. You've disobeyed this rule. Oh no, I disobeyed the rule. Now I have to die. You've been a nuisance since you have arrived. You will not replace me. Replace you? Uh, trust me, I have no... <laughs> you're all gonna die and you're worried about being replaced? What kind of psychotic brainwashing has happened to you, lady? <laughs> Of course he didn't even tell her about the barrel. I don't really want to... Ew. Ew. That's gross. Elsa, enjoy your journey into the unknown. Sorry. Ish. A little history. Hamburger Howie's employee of the month. What changed? Hello? You told him it was my birthday? <laughs> Came funny about three hours ago. Tonight, everything I'm doing is pure. Egos, pain, almost gone. As Dr. King said, we know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. Did he just quote Martin Luther King? Yeah. Yep. Yes, he did. All right. I see you found our radio. Clear the dining room immediately. You'll be tempted to ask him for help. To plead even. This would be unwise. He cannot help you. Did anybody here call in a distress over the shortwave tonight? I mean, look around. Uh, are you... <laughs> Would you like this autograph? You're great. I hope you're right. My wife and I, help we us. love that, um... Oh, no! Um, Dr. Sunshine. Yeah! <laughs> Help us, yeah. Perfect. Okay, don't don't blow his cover. Oh, Hands up your head. oh. everyone, now. Oh. 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 Everyone, oh. do not speak. He doesn't know who's good and who's bad. No, <laughs> it's a lighter. Man's in on it. <laughs> That's terrible. Good job. I enjoyed that far more than I should have. So in a kitchen, we all work together and nothing works at all. You've betrayed our sacred bond of trust. I was wrong, you're, you're an eater, you're a taker. What's going through her mind? I can't quite tell. Ooh. I don't like your food and I would like to send it back. I didn't eat any of his I'm cake. I'm sorry to hear that. You've taken the joy out of eating. Mm -hmm. Every dish you've served tonight has been some intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. You cook with obsession, Ooh. not love. Oh, what a line. You know what I'd really like? A cheeseburger. No, we can do a cheeseburger. A real cheeseburger. Like the one he used to make in 1987? Going back to your roots today, sir. And perhaps, it will reignite his love, his passion for cooking. And maybe, just maybe, it'll be enough to save the life of every person here. Ah, oh, I see the hint of a smile. Also, the music created a beautiful shift in tone. <laughs> I mean, it looks like the best thing <laughs> they've served all night. <laughs> mm. 
Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. Can I get the rest to go? Oh, very nice. One cheeseburger to go. Thank you for dining at Hawthorne. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it does kind of feel like she's going to get to leave and nobody else is. And maybe that's okay. Oh. She gave her permission. That's so sweet. Before our final course, there is the matter of the bill. Oh, no, no. It's on the magazine. <laughs> Thank you for dining with us tonight. You represent the ruin of my art. Now you get to be a part of it. Yeah, how is this menu going to end exactly? S'mores? Yeah, they're all kind of making art. This is true. And now our final dessert course is a playful twist on the comfort food classic. S'mores. The most offensive assault on the human palate ever contrived. It's delicious. But what transforms she got to go. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. I made. I know. Did she just say thank you? I love you all. Wow, right in the middle. I assume she's going to get to watch the building go up in flames. Yeah. Customer, staff, restaurant. Oh. And she She's gonna eat her burger. She she probably is hungry. Excellent use of the menu. Ah! I thought this was a clever film. It was really enjoyable. I am thrilled that she was able to get out. One person got to leave. As she was like making this whole plan with the burger, it was clear that they were orchestrating an escape of potential out. And I was a little bit torn. Because on one hand, like who doesn't love uh, a happy ending. Like, oh, maybe everyone will, will get out. He'll have a complete change of heart. But then at the same time, in my mind, I was wondering, like, okay, but I do want to see the spectacular ending he had planned for the menu that he was serving. And so we kind of got a little bit of, of the best of both worlds there. She got to escape and enjoy her burger on a boat while she watched the explosive finale where, golly, I want some s'mores now. I want to go make s'mores. I... I <laughs> good movie it's the kind of movie i would enjoy watching like with someone else so thank you for watching with me uh i hope you enjoyed yourself thank you for watching and being here please like and subscribe if you want to keep hanging out and watching more movies with me and yeah check me out on patreon if you want to take your support of the channel to the next level or enjoy full movie reactions as well as early access to select videos as well as uh, certain bonus content such as exclusive movies and whatnot i do want to say thank you to my patrons and thank you to you for being here and my subscribers here's another movie you might enjoy and i'll see you in the next one bye